back at it again with another one. All right, sorry, I had to look around because I swear to do is follow me in the parking lot. Folk out here crazy, but hey, I always keep an eye open because you never know what the folk got on their mind. And it's not Georgia. All right. Um, new drink, zero sugar. Now, this is a different type of flavor for me. Uh, not too much, that much different, but you'll see in a minute why. Um, this is zero sugar. Got that L thing, the name thing that I don't feel like trying to figure out if I say it right or not. Um, um, let me see. It's an energy drink for the mind and body. Natural caffeine, sorry, 200 milligrams of natural caffeine. No artificial flavors. This is 16 fluid ounces. Um, has other natural flavors. Let's see. Contains zero juice. This is 15 calories for this can, big baby. Um, look at this. Oh, Lord. Sorry. Um, oh, we got a warning. Yep, I knew it. Warning. Not recommended for use by individuals under 18 years of age. Too much caffeine may cause nervousness, irritability, sleepiness, and occasionally rapid heartbeat. One serving of Triton provides 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is more than two cups of coffee. So you know what I got to say about that. You already got the jitters, or you're about to have the jitters. Don't you put this in your mouth. Don't you do it, Ricky Bobby. Um, Let's see. Trenton fuels your adventures made with zero sugar and l thanine with smooths and impacts of caffeine to give you weightless energy without the same jittery feeling as caffeine alone. Now watch out now, because that disclaimer kind of says something else. But it always makes you want to just start rapping. And I hope this stomach diarrhea, sleepiness, occasionally irritability. Uh, irritability. Uh, that's okay. You ain't got jam with me. I jam by myself. Okay. Um. So yeah. Let me see. Oh, consume responsibly. Yeah. Um, this drink is not recommended for children, pregnant, or nursing women, or people sensitive to caffeine. If you didn't catch that from the warning, it is said twice right beside each other. I cannot make this up. This is, uh, the first part. And this is the second part. So they're telling you twice. Not once, but dos. <laughs> okay. Um, so the drink is called Triton. Uh, I'm going to say Triton, Triton. It depends on how they're trying to say it. Don't know. So I'm going to say both, just in case. Um, the flavor that I chose is something different. It's out of the box for me. This is salted watermelon. Now, I am not by far a salted person. If they're salted caramel, salted taffy, and stuff like that, I go the other way. I don't even think about it. You don't have to tell me twice. I don't like sugary and salty things that mix. I don't like that sweet and salty vibe. It kills my vibe. I do not like it. I'll be the first to tell you, but this can. Why not? This flavor. Why not? Watermelon. Why not? Do it look like I'm going to turn down some watermelon? And I'm like, other than when people actually cut it and put salt on watermelon, what? When have you ever heard of a drink putting salted watermelon as a drink flavor? You don't. Okay, so I had to seize the moment, some carpet down type stuff. So let's see what they're talking about. This Triton. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And you know, for me, I'm probably blanking this disclaimer like a mug. I don't have like sleeping and stuff because I'm going to go sleep. Wherever I want to go sleep, you know what I'm saying? I'm always crunk anyway, so it doesn't matter what the drink going to do because I'm on that natural juice anyway. Hey, man, all right. Now, this just smells like a little bit of like a star bursty Jolly Rancher type watermelon vibe. And something else, but it's not salt. But let's do it. Excuse me. When I'm drinking it, I kind of taste something a little off in my mouth. And then when I actually start to try to taste it, first of all, it has a floating taste of it almost like cucumber or cucumber water. And you got see you got the spit in my mouth. It tastes like there's some kind of like cucumber or cucumbery type water essence or something that just floats in your mouth. When I semi belch, nothing but delicious, fruity, gummy tastic watermelon y flavor. That's what happens when you belch, burp, or semi go like that. But I do still taste, it's kind of like a watermelon, uh, watermelon, cucumber type essence, but it's not like a uh, cucumber because we all know how cucumbers can taste if you don't make them right. And by making them, you know, oh, it's. A vegetable, okay. Put them in the, you know, 
dressing, but yeah, drinking it as you drink it and it goes in your mouth. It tastes like I'm drinking watermelon, watermelon infused cucumber water. Um, cucumber beverage, excuse me. And that's all I taste in my mouth as I drink it. And it's, it's really not bad, bad. It's tolerable and it's drinkable. And that watermelon just adds something to it just to make you want to continue to drink it. But I feel like if you were at a spa or you have a spa near you, you might want to tell them get this Triton because that'd be something to make people think, oh, put the cucumbers in my eyes and sit down and exfoliate and all that. And at the same time, drink it. And it was like, but what is this in there? And it was like, oh, it's something new, man. You know, how would they say in the spa? I don't know. I don't go there often, but isn't I, I'm not getting salted vibes, but I'm pretty sure it's a hint of it there, which probably helps enhance and bring out that watermelon essence. And that's probably where some of that cucumberness is coming from. But all in all, not bad, Triton. I drank it again. Um, I only saw one flavor with this. Um, I didn't see anything else. But then again, this store, like, you know, usually they have more options. I think they were more concerned with the beer products than anything because they're, they didn't even have more than one flavor Mountain Dew. They only had the original Mountain Dew and then the diet version. I was like, where's your variety? What's going on over here? You know what I'm saying? But... It's not bad. To each his own. Salted watermelon. Good try. Does have a little bit of a cucumber, watery type watermelon essence to it. But all in all, it's good and it's good for you. But once again, as a disclaimer says, do not drink this if you're hyperactive. Eh? Under 18, pregnant, nursing, could be pregnant, could be nursing. And or already jittery on the edge. Of like, you know, somebody got to watch them. Or you can't go to sleep when you got to watch that person because you like Jack over there twitching all night already. You can't take coffee or you can't take caffeine in general do not drink this they have told you not once but twice they done told you here and they done told you here i'm just i don't shoot the message okay this is not for everybody but if you're about that life you're hard-headed or your kids are already hyper and you want to figure out why or you don't know why it's probably because they snuck and drunk one of these but it's okay um Make sure you try it. So just hop on down to your local 7-Eleven. I got it from the 7-Eleven. So shockingly enough, this 7-Eleven had this one particular drink that is different, but they didn't have a variety of any other drinks. So to 7-Eleven, step it up. All of the 7-Elevens I get are different, but you got to have the basics down, Pat. Come on now. So try looking at your Exxons, your Shells, and other things like that. I can't vouch for, you know, where they're at, but I did get this one from 7-Eleven. When in doubt, you already know. Google it and go the Walmart route, because you never know. It's coming to Walmart. It's coming, baby. It's coming. But right now, 7-Eleven, gas stations, anything, all around the world. All around the world, baby. All around the world. And then you can look it up, and you can see, do you taste any salt in this salted watermelon? Because I don't. But let me know if that uh cucumbery goodness hits you a little bit. But make sure you get you one, because I got this one, baby. And, you know, by chance, I wasn't trying. But I just happened to be coordinating with this bad boy. But, hey, God's plan. God's plan. Hey!